Hello everybody, I've got something uh, different for you here today. It's Roro Tycoon again, uh, and we're doing a scenario, but this time it's not a scenario found either in the base game or in the Coast to Coast expansion pack. Rather, it's a scenario that I've personally downloaded, and it's called Brazil English. Uh, Brazil in the 19th century, a country of rolling hills, exuberant forests, landscapes and wonderful beaches, invites you to build a railway to carry your passengers to, plas to places where wagons could never reach. Uh, default start 1880. Uh, pretty big map. As you can see on the map there are a ton of cities. Um, I've played this before, but I don't think I've played it on expert, I think I've played it on medium. I've got gold before, but again I think that was gold on medium. Uh, God only knows what it's going to be like on Expert. I'm just going to play with 5 AI. In general, from my remembrance of this scenario, uh, the AI don't do that well. Um, so here's hoping they don't do very well here. Um, but yeah, let's go. So, this is a fan-made scenario in that... Uh, it wasn't made by the game developers or anyone related to the game, uh, as far as I know. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who made this scenario. Uh, it was made ages ago. If you want to download it, uh, look up Hawk and Badger Railroad. Um, and then look up Railroad Tycoon 3 maps. There's a whole load of them. Um, it's the same place where, like, Magno Tomato got his uh, Greece in 1857 map, which I also have downloaded myself. Uh, and that's a great map. I recommend you watch his video. Because um, he he did rather well. Could have done better, but did rather well. Um, and it's the same place where he got his Crossing the Pennines one, which is a from the looks of things, though I've never played it myself, properly difficult scenario. Uh, so check out that video as well. Just check out his channel. Um, I'm not affiliated with him in any way, but just check out his channel. Um, but yeah, there's a whole load of webs, um, maps and Rara Tycoon 3 maps and goodies and uh, fan patches. Hawk and Badger Railroad. I think it's hawkdog.com. H U. Uh, oops. H A W K D A W G dot com. But anyway, uh, Brazil in the 19th century, starting in 1880. Coffee, cotton, and sugar are Brazil's largest crops. By the end of the century, Brazil will become the largest exporter of coffee, bringing it to the bringing it to the Porto Santos and Rio de Janeiro. Uh, special conditions: no unconnected track. You may only start one company. Fine by me. Uh, for bronze, connect Sao Paulo to Porto Alegre, Salvador and Manaus. I'm probably mispronouncing all of these. Silver, same as bronze, but also connect to Asuncion. And same as silver for gold, but also connect Santa Cruz de la Sierra and haul the following to Porto Santos or Rio de Janeiro. 150 loads of coffee, 100 loads of cotton and 50 loads of sugar. I'll be referring back to these objectives because there's no way I'm going to remember all that. Uh, but basically, it looks like we're starting Sao Paulo. Um, and we have to connect to various places and haul a load of coffee, cotton and sugar. Seems simple enough. But, uh, what you'll quickly come to realise is that this map is huge, in fairness. And also, I don't know how this is going to work because I'm actually playing on a laptop mouse because my um, original mouse has decided to die completely. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically playing on a laptop mouse. So, woe is me. Good luck. Um, it's going to make zooming in and out rather tedious. But yeah, so... Somewhere in there, you can just see it. Sao Paulo. Uh, there's the Porta de Santos. There's Rio de Janeiro. And then, I forget the other places we have to connect to. I think one of them was Salvador. Um, Manaus was somewhere, that's over there. Uh, so basically we just kind of have to build along the coast. But then Asuncion uh, is some 
where it's there in Paraguay. And currently, I think we only actually have access to Brazil. I think you get access to Paraguay and Argentina, possibly, uh, as time goes by and as you connect more cities. I don't think it's like a specific point in time. Uh, I think it's to do with how many cities. If my memory serves, it's 40 or 50 cities you get access um, to various other places. I don't know what logo I'm going to go for. Um, to be quite honest, I'm just going to go for a, whatever looks best. That looks that looks cool. Um, and since I'm boring and unimaginative, we're just going to call ourselves Brazilian Railroad. Right, choose an option to improve performance. 15% higher engine speed, 25% cheaper track construction, 20% cheaper locomotive. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the cheaper track. In general, cheaper track is the best. Although, higher engine speed would be good. But, we're gonna be building a lot of track. 25% cheaper is a lot. Uh, right, so, first things first. Uh, we need to build in Sao Paulo. So, yeah. Navigating around with a laptop mouse, not easy. I wish my mouse would work. Oh, Porto Alegre, that's somewhere where we need to connect to. Um, yeah. Fortunately, up, down, left and right keys do work. I don't quite know how I'm going to do this. I wish my mouse would work. I might see if putting a new battery will work. Be right back. And we're back. I've managed to put in a new battery in the mouse and it seems to work somewhat. I can't click on things so I'm having to use the laptop mouse to click. Uh, but at least I can actually just like look around and scroll and shit. But yeah, so uh, first things first is we need to create something in Sao Paulo. Uh, so let's do that. Fortunately, Lard Station covers everything. Right. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, we do not need net worth or dividend. That's actually really nice. It means that I never have to worry about dividend or like issuing stock or buying stock or anything like that. Uh, so I can just keep the dividend at zero. And I may as well issue some stock while I'm at it. Gives me a bit more money. Uh, yeah, so the Porta Santos. Uh, also, yeah, I've activated the. Um, like, when I lay track, I've got high trees, which obviously we're in Brazil, so there's a hell of a lot of trees, as you can see. Uh, high trees just simply makes it so that it high tree, hides trees when you uh, lay track, it makes it a lot easier to see. Uh, and also the grid is very useful for hilly terrain, which the coast of Brazil is very hilly. Um, I've just lost, yeah, Sao Paulo. Um, so it just makes it easier to build track. As for where to lay track originally, uh, São José dos Campos does not have a whole lot going for it. Like, there's a meat plant, but... Um, we can't really get to Santos at the moment because A, the Shea, which is the one that I really want, the Fairly's good for hills, don't get me wrong, but it's really slow. The Shea is basically a better version of the Fairly, and that doesn't come available until 1882, I don't think. Uh, and also it'd be just really expensive to get to Santos. So I think we're just going to go Sao Paulo, uh, and then... Whilst it's technically in the wrong direction, we could go to Sorocaba and Campinas. Uh, or we could just keep building in this direction anyway. I don't know. I mean, that is a nasty hill, but I think we're going to get nasty hills wherever we go, to be quite honest. Uh, so I'm actually. I'm thinking let's just play it safe and. Don't tell me I can't. Don't tell me that house is in the way. Ah! Right. 
Okay, so the left mouse button doesn't work, but the right mouse button does work. That's kind of actually useful, because it means that I can rotate easily with the right mouse button. God, what is wrong with this mouse? It's completely and utterly broken. Also, I think this is actually like a fairly long scenario, because I think you get 50 years. Yeah, you get 50 years, so this is going to be a long scenario. Uh, so this video will probably end up being like two parts, maybe even three, depends how long it takes me. Hey, I've got nothing better to do tonight. <coughs> right, large station does cover everything. I can't quite get away with the medium, and in fairness, it's going to grow anyway, so that's quite nice. And I've been given half a million just for an incentive to expand the railway. Um, that's actually really nice. Yeah, I remember that, actually, that you do get a lot of money for connecting certain cities together. Um, so if memory serves, connecting cities is not that difficult in this scenario, because once you get past the ridiculously mountainous terrain, uh, you do get a fair amount of money. What is tough is going for gold and trying to haul everything. Um, because if memory serves, a lot of stuff you need to haul is like over in the north, like round here, or round here. And getting it from like over here to down here takes an eternity. Um, but yeah, so um, could take our bond, but I'm not going to. Also, zoom out. The consolidation will be the savior of this scenario because the consolidation is just all round good. Um, it's pretty fast and it's good on hills, so. Yeah, it's not a lot going for it, but what can you do? Build the necessary supplies. Can we get to Sorokaba on our money? Um, question. Also, should we? I'm actually going to save. Uh, Brazil Expert LP Yeah, I'm just having I mean, we can build track and then undo like there's no harm in doing that That's the great thing is that it's not like once you do it, it's not permanent um, I mean, it's going to be nasty hills wherever you go, like it's just obviously finding the least nasty of the nasty hills. That's the challenge. If I do miss this game, I'm glad I'm playing it again. It's been a very long time since I did a video. Yeah, I mean, you see there, like, it's still like 10% gradient. But I'm just wondering, is there actually anything better, like... Because, I mean, if you come round like here... Actually, that is better. That's actually okay. It's still like 6% gradient, but... No, I think that's... Mm... Yeah, that's, 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 that's good. I mean, if we'd have just gone straight through, we maybe could have got a tunnel, but it would have been a heck of a lot of money. Right, can I get the medium station? Yeah, that actually does work. I just don't know where to put it. I'm just bearing in mind that it's... Yeah, that works. And then I think that'll be able to go to a large if I actually... Oh, the ground's not flat enough. Oh, okay. Well, suit yourself. Um, let me just put in maintenance and service. Is there actually anything much in Sorok Harbour? I mean, not really, but we can get a train. Yeah. Uh, ooh, some passengers. I can't remember if the majority of stuff in this game is passengers, an express, or freight. To be quite honest, uh, I also feel like, I mean, we are playing on expert, but I feel like money 
early on might be quite tough, and we might have to just rely on, like, bonds and trying to connect places together, and... Saying that, camping ass looks fairly big, so I might actually take out a bond and connect there before the AI do. Because there are five AI? Yeah, five AI. So obviously they're going to snatch up some of the good places, but I'm hoping that they just go bankrupt. But it's on expert, so they might not, because on expert, they do get quite good, because they have a lot of bonuses going for them, like cheaper track, cheaper... Um, I want to say cheaper engines and cheaper maintenance, but I don't know. These passengers want to go to Sao Paulo. Uh, the milk wants to go to Sao Paulo. Yeah, we're just going to build a train to Sao Paulo. Obviously go for a consolidation. But Campinas itself is a big city, so it's got a lot going for it. Uh, so I think that bond will pay for itself. But what's interesting is that normally in scenarios, they last 30 years or less. Because this lasts 50 years, when I get to 20 or 1910, um, yeah, the AI are starting to form companies. When I get to 1910, I'm going to be paying 11% of 500,000 every year for 30 years, which is 55,000. So after 30 years, I'll have actually paid uh, 30 times 550, um, which I believe is 1,650,000. And then in 1910, I have to pay 500,000. Now, okay, 55,000 a year is not a lot, but it just it can catch you out because if I've got a hell of a lot of loans due in 1910. I might have to pay like five million, and it's it, it can catch you out. It's catch me, it's caught me out before. Yeah, these these trains aren't hauling a lot, really. Um, I mean, we are profitable. The AI have they all formed companies now? Yeah, all of them have formed companies. It annoys me that the custom logos don't work with AI, so you just get a load of AI with like that, that default sort of custom logo that doesn't work. So we've got Ribeiro Preto Western and São José do Rio Preto. Uh, yeah, I, I'm probably just going to mispronounce all these. Brasilia and Guiana who actually seem really profitable, despite the fact they've taken out... How is that interest so high? Wow, that is awful. I mean, the economy is just in normal state, so God knows. Um, we've also got Recife, which I think is one of the cities I need to connect to. No, apparently not. No. Uh, and Juan Pessoa. Uberlandia and Uberaba. Sounds very German. Um, looks like these two are making a profit, especially the Brasilia Southern. And then Fiera de Santana and Vitoria da Conquista, who, yeah, they don't seem to be doing very well. Um, we seem to be doing okay. This beauty of a train, I'm wondering if I should put a passenger car, or rather a dining car on it, I think I will. The great thing is as well, is that on the first journey, if you have seven loads... Okay, that's... Just tell me I don't have anything delivered. Ah, now I remember this. This is actually really annoying. It doesn't tell you how much you've delivered. Uh, until the end of the year, but it doesn't, for whatever reason, it doesn't tell you in the ledger. That's kind of a design fault. Um, but I mean, obviously it's going to be zero, because we haven't connected to Porto Santos or Rio de Janeiro yet. Um, I mean, obviously I'm aiming for gold, but if I don't get gold, I'm not going to be massively disappointed, because from memory, it is actually quite difficult to get gold. 
So I'm kind of just aiming for silver. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, right, next step. Uh, we could take out more loans. Could even connect up to this AI. Um, issue the stock off. Alternatively, if I took out enough loans, could I get to Rio? Probably not, unless I took out like a... I'd probably have to take... I mean, how many can I even take out? I could probably only take out two, realistically, which would leave me about one and a half million. And I don't think that's enough. So... Unless there's a bonus for five cities. There might be. I don't know. Let's wait. These are barely delivering, which is a bit disappointing. Ah, oh, there's a lot of coffee over here. Hmm. Clothes. Cotton, milk. Yeah, nothing's profitable anymore. It's just, there's not enough cargo, and what is available is not profitable. I blame Expert. Oh well. I mean, they're still hauling. Like, this Campinas Sao Paulo train's actually doing alright. Uh, right, I think I'm gonna take out bonds. Ah, poo. I can only take out one. Can we get. I mean, there's nothing in Volta Redonda. If I'm just going for the bonus, I'd be better off connecting to, like, here. Can I even get to here? Oh, yeah, I can't connect to here. Can't build unconnected track. Yeah. That's a, hmm, taking out this bond may prove a mistake. Eventually I want to get to below Horizonte, because I remember there's a bonus for doing that. Um, right. I mean, I don't even know if there's actually anything here. I'm just thinking... I could maybe get some money from the AI running on my track, which would be quite nice. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to keep that. Uh, maintenance and service. not really a whole lot here, but we'll just run a train between these two places. Hopefully they'll deliver something. Yeah, I mean, they're delivering stuff. Just random rubbish. Most of these aren't even full. I don't, 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 don't want to retire the train that I just bought. Hopefully the AI is stupid enough and they'll run on my track, and therefore I'll get a bit of money from doing that. I mean, I have to pay them a bit for using their track. Okay, the Paulista and Carioca businessmen want to, rem to want to move merchandise between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro as soon as possible. For this, they promised six hundred thousand dollars for the company that links the two cities, uh, which is probably going to be us, given that we're the only company that's actually built track near there. Uh, 600,000. Hmm. I have to kind of hope that the interest doesn't fuck us over, but I mean, once we actually start making a lot of money, if memory serves, you do make a lot of money. Um, so I can maybe pay off some loans. Now, should I connect to Bauru, or should I start moving towards Rio? Let's just start moving towards Rio. Now, fortunately, there's a very nice sort of mountain pass between uh, São José dos Campos and Volta Redonda. But then, after that, it does get pretty nasty trying to get 
to Rio itself. There's no sort of nice way of going about it. You sort of have to navigate a lot of hills. I mean, it's flat. It's flat around here, but it's obviously just getting there is obviously very difficult. So. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the consolidation can handle hills, but obviously it won't just go up like a 90 degree slope. At the same time, I don't want to deal with a lot of tunnels because they're expensive. That's actually okay. Ooh, no, that's not, that's not good. That's that's not nice. Oh boy. That's sort of all right. Bring them on. I need enough money for the station and stuff itself. I don't know how I'm going to get to Rio. Because there's a lot of... There's a lot of buildings in the way. Like... These houses. This is what I mean, like... The... The map is incredibly hilly, and... Whilst that makes it a lot more interesting... Uh, and I'm sure Brazil must be like this in real life. It does make it kind of hard to build a railroad. Like, those hills are fairly awful. And I'm out of money. Um, like, that does work. I might just actually stop at Volta Redonda. I mean, those hills are actually okay, like, it never really goes up a four or five, so that's okay. It's mostly, it's about as flat as it's going to get. Volta Redonda itself, as far as I can tell, is just that. I don't think there's actually anything else. I think all of this is technically Rio, so. I'm just going to go for a Small station. Just to build a tiny bit more track. Yeah, there we go. And there we go, I've actually just been given a million dollars. Oh no, seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I've just been given seven hundred thousand uh, dollars. because we've connected five cities. And that should be enough to get to Rio, which therefore we then get six hundred thousand dollars. Is there actually any thing here? There are some passengers, and there's a tiny, tiny bit of milk, which is not profitable to haul. Nobody wants to go here, apparently. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering whether to build it between Sao Paulo in there, or Sao Jose to there. There's not really a whole lot in Sao Jose. Okay, that's... yeah. <laughs> Sao Paulo. Should be quite a nice train. Oh, okay. Not massively profitable, but hey-ho. Uh, and then... Try and get to Rio? And claim that $600,000 bonus? Okay, bridge. Bridge is normally a okay. Hey, that one seems pretty unnecessary and actually kind of bad. Um, that's just stupid. Yeah, that, that's the thing as well. Is when building track, you want to keep it straight, but obviously you want to keep it flat. 
So it's generally a bad idea to just build massive streets of track at the same time. Like it's a very good idea to, especially in maps like this, uh, zoom in very heavily, clearly assess the map, and try and plan out like the sh least steep route. Uh, and also, oh my god, so many buildings and shit in the way. Like. I don't want to just, like, destroy houses, because obviously they provide passengers and stuff, but I'm thinking these two houses are kind of in the way. That's not good, that, is it? That's a hell of a hill. And also, if I destroy the houses, I can't like, undo. And even then, I'm still going to have to get through all this stuff. Wow, okay. Can I not build, like, a tunnel or something through here? Okay, I mean, I, I can, but it's a bit stupid. Wow. That's not what I want. Oh boy, this ain't going to be nice, is it? How the hell do you get to Rio? Like seriously, how do you get to Rio? Hmm. I mean, I had it before, but I can't remember what I did. I suppose, apart from... God. Nothing about this is nice. Nothing about that is nice. But I might just have to accept it. I'm hoping that if I build the station there, it'll sort of flatten out this bit. Um, that bit is horrible. But I don't see anything much better. Unless I can build through here. Actually. Can I build out? Yeah. That's better. Um, like, it's still horrible, but I mean, the whole town is just built on, like. Oh, God, don't tell me I can't build a mountain. Don't tell me I can't build a station. Yes! I can build a station that actually connects the whole city. Um, and we get $600,000 bonus. Now, Rio has oil, uh, which wants to go to places, and milk. Nobody actually wants to go to Rio, which I find a bit odd. Uh, I think I'm just going to build between Sao Paulo and Rio. And also I might actually build another one between Sao Jose, Dos Campos and Rio. Hopefully, this will be... Really? Fine. Put another one. That's better! I'll die car on that one. Right. Uh, we're going to need maintenance and service. Especially with these hills. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. So that should, hopefully, uh, make decent cash. Just realign with north. So the money should start to pile in now. Uh, 
And it actually looks like the AI aren't doing so good after all. Yeah, they're all kind of failing. And the Shea is available. Uh, reason I wanted the Shea is obviously it's the best when dealing with hills. Um, this thing will just go at like 20 miles an hour anywhere. 12% gradient. Yep, I've seen it go 12, 20 miles an hour, even pulling a full load of freight. Um, this thing's incredible. Um, but it's a freight train, like, you don't want to... I mean, it, it, it's acceptable, it's not ugly, so it can deliver express. Uh, it's reliable, decent acceleration, not very good fuel economy, but meh. So, between, like, Sao Paulo and Santos... Um, there's a giant hill. And building track between the two is obviously not going to be very nice. Um, things we have to deliver to Rio were coffee, cotton and sugar. At the moment, there's a fair supply in Sao Paulo and Campinas of coffee. Cotton, Campinas again. Sugar. San Jose do Rio Prieto. There. How much is it to buy those guys out? Could do it, you know. If we took out, if we took out a bond, we could buy these guys out. And they don't have any loans of their own. Just an idea. So of interest, are we actually making any... Uh, no, we don't seem to be... Making money from the AI running on our track, which is kind of disappointing. Have they even got... Oh. Yeah, they've only got two trains. Uh, for some reason, it always confuses me why the AI never use Caboose. I I have no idea why they don't use Cabooses. Um, Alright, next stop will probably be Campos, because we just want to keep going along uh, the coast, because obviously we've got to get to for bronze. Porto Alegre, Salvador, and Manaus. Manaus is way the hell over here. Porto Allegro is down here. Um, Salvador? Now Salvador is up here, so yeah. Basically, you just want something that goes all the way along the coast. And a silver. A sunshine in Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Uh, and a sunshine, we said, was in Paraguay here. I believe it's the capital of Paraguay. Uh, and Santa Cruz de la Sierra is actually in Bolivia. And to get to Bolivia, it's 20 million. Paraguay, 15 million. Argentina, 30 million. Uruguay, 10 million. But that does become free once you get like 50 cities, if I remember. Um, so basically, don't pay is the point. Because, I mean, 20 million, like, we don't have that, obviously. We're not going to have that for a very long time, if ever. Uh, I'm aware I've got it on very slow. I'm just thinking what to do next. Because um, the company is actually making nice money now, so... Probably actually going to get stock splitting. Are we in a boot? No, just economic status normal. It's c just because we're making money. Yeah, stock split. And we have to hold some coffee and sugar. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. It's going to be a very long train, this. But I might just set it to high priority. Coffee, 
coffee, coffee. I mean, it's not actually like hauling. Yeah, I'll just keep it on normal priority. Right. Keep going. Uh, furniture factory has appeared in my mouse. I don't really care about that. How much is it actually to connect to Santos? And also, I'm... Yeah, it's... It's hauled them to either one, but I think they add each other up. It's not like you've got to haul it all to here or all to here. So if you haul like 50 loads here, 50 loads here, I think it's 100 rather than like 50. It's not like whichever one has higher. I could be wrong. But it would make sense if it was like that. Um, but I think for now, I just want to keep moving on forwards. Cabo Frio has a distillery. Um, actually demands sugar. It's a bit annoying because Rio we need sugar as well. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's basically nothing there. But we do get money for connecting random cities, so. And we kind of need, like, all the cities we can get. That's actually not very flat, but it will do. Oh, Jesus. Can't build a suspension bridge, so. Okay. We've arrived at Campos. That is good. And yes, I can still build a bridge over there. Yeah. Oops. That's, That's good. Alright. Uh, now, Campos, can you... No, you want a large. Okay. No money bonus for Campos. Connecting... Uh, Cabo Frio. I kind of do need a medium for that. Yeah, I'll build, an, I'll build a medium. Because there's more space to expand as well. And just build maintenance over here. Oh, I can't actually. Okay, build a service. And then build a maintenance there. That's fine. I've got just enough money for a... I'm also not sure, actually, if you haul, like, coffee to Rio and then haul it away from Rio. Uh, is that, like, a bad idea? I don't know. I think at this point, probably don't focus so much on the hauling stuff to Rio, because that's only for gold. Um, it would be kind of dumb if it did that. Is there actually anything I can haul to or from here? Like, does anyone want to go here? No. I could just get a train. I could just get a very small train between Cabo, Frio, and Rio. I might just do that. Oh, actually, I'm probably going to want to double up here, because I feel like the traffic's going to be quite bad around Rio. Yeah. Also, actually, how's the traffic around, like, Sao Paulo? Oh, okay, that's bad. Wow, yeah, that's bad. Alright, issue stock, and double up around here. Jesus. I wish it did include in the ledger, like, how much you've delivered to Rio. I know I said that earlier, but it is a real pain. Uh, I could take out a shitload of loans. 9%. It's kind of tempting. Hmm. Yeah, the AI are just not doing 
well. Uh, which is good for me. I'm actually thinking, do I... Yeah, I'm just going to take out these loans and get to Santos. Hopefully that's enough money. Right. Now, how the heck am I going to do this? Do I come round, like, here? Portal Lego is where the hell down... Hmm. Most direct route would just be a steep slope down... Woods, something like this. But then obviously that's a hell of a steep slope. I mean, the Shea will do it, but. I kind of want to connect to other cities as well, like. I know Barrow's out of the way, but I do kind of want to connect there, but. Meh. Right. That's actually not... Uh, I was going to say that's actually not too bad, but... Then I saw it, and I was like, yeah. Um, sure. I mean, it's... It's the shortest route... build along the coast and it is actually flat around the coast. So yeah, that does work. Uh, is there actually anything there? There's a town here called Registro and as far as I can tell it's one house. Because there's just nothing here. That's bizarre. It's the same with this one, like, Paranagua, it's just three houses. That is rather bizarre. Right. So it's all flat, it's flat here, and then it's just a big slope here. There's also actually a textile mill here, which is upgraded. Interesting. Um, I might just keep that actually, and then big large station. <laughs> so the things I have to haul to. There were coffee, cotton, and sugar. So, yeah. Campinas Santos. Falling coffee, cotton, and coffee. Uh, and we'll also do Sao Paulo to Santos. That's just hauling a load of coffee and cotton, which is nice. To Santos, it's actually going to be really nice because it's just like downhill. Lord Strathcona fired from chairmanship of Fiera de Santana and Vittoria da Conquista. Shareholders revolted against poor management. Uh, six coffee, two cotton, no sugar. Okay. People are very pleased with our performance because we're making good cash. Uh, I suppose the good thing is about building this railway is that it doesn't... Hmm. I was going to say it makes getting to Curitiba a bit easier. But then obviously you still have to go up that hill, which is basically only accessible to Shays. Uh, I'm just going to... Hmm. Uh, these, see, these towns are not good. 
I'm gonna go to Bauru. Like I said I would. It's just how we're gonna do it. I feel like my money just went up, so I think we might have actually just got more money for connecting. Yeah, for linking 10 cities we've got an additional million dollars. Hey hey! 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's the thing, like, I did say that if you connect cities in this you do get a lot of money. Uh, so it actually is worth it to take out a lot of loans. Although, interest payments aren't exactly... they're not great. Now, Bauru... Um, Sao Paulo... Yeah, I think we'll just go Bauru, Sao Paulo. Create another train. Ah. Okay. And we're going to the recession. That's not flat enough, is it? Yeah. Damn it. Is there any way I can make that flatter and get a larger station? Probably not, but. Fifteen trains, that's quite nice. Right, how am I going to get to, like, down here? Because I could go like that, but then obviously I'm building and expanding on uh, the slope. Just save again. 